All right, all right, all right. Welcome for another game. We have today Cody Battle Bronx versus the Salinas High Nighthawks. Took us a little time to get ready to go, but they seem to be all set. They're going to be switching things up today, and this is going to be our sixth game. We haven't done too well this season. However, we got some high hopes that things will be a lot better this time around. So... We have a plat on their team. We have a gold. They have a, we have a silver. Looks like they have two new Overwatch players to match our own. But today should be interesting. They've been doing really well in their standings. I believe they are three wins and a loss. We, unfortunately, are <laughs> three losses and a win. But today should be fun. Should be good. Ready for battle. We looks like we got Suguru who's gonna be taking on his usual Genji tactics. We got our Xbox One taking his tank role once again. Wolfie's gonna be playing his assassin. We have Stinkbug on heels and Vision Rush on heels, and Archaic is gonna be running around putting down Five, a Russian slap. Four, three, two, one, round one. Capture and the here we go. Nothing's gonna stop me. So it looks like red is off to a solid start. They are zooming to the point and holding up, waiting. And blue is not very suspecting. They're coming in a little bit separated. This might cause a problem for them if they're not grouped up. The objective is now active. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Get down. No need to recharge. Get into position. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. This is it looking a little bit tough for them. They're going to have to push forward if they're going to take the point. We got one already for each team. Ooh, excellent pin and excellent pin. Oh, goodness me. Everyone's just unleashing their ults. We're not getting the same kind of ult control we've had in games past. Looks like Archaic's doing his best to hold the point, but he is outnumbered. He is going to die. There he goes. It looks like Juan decided to run back to join up his teammates. Wolf Hype heading up behind. And it looks like Red's decided to spread out and sending their Reaper in ahead of the game. Why Suguru is by himself? I'm not sure. He almost lost it there. Oh, good pin. Got a high noon and stopped. That was an excellent shutdown. Raising the volume. Come out and face me. Sug almost, almost again losing it. Fire it will into position. Gone. And there's a big fight on the point. We have their own Hansu. Oh, goodness. And that was a really effective ult from their Reaper. It's almost a team kill. And it is a team kill. That was well played by Red. Blue's going to have to switch it up a little bit, but it looks like they're just going to stick with their same setup. And for whatever reason, Juan ran into the team. 
Excellent ult from Sugaru. Allow me to repair the damage. Good save from Blue. The Red's Reaper staying back until the rest of the team can join. And here they come, gathering up before their push. They only need one more percent. <laughs> the question is, are they going to... Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent ult from Xbox One on red. Now, the question is, can they keep this up? Another kill from red, another kill from red. They almost have their Reaper down. Reaper down. It was an excellent play from blue. And Sugudu on fire, making sure that there aren't any stragglers. Two. Get in there. And ult while boosted. Excellent. Triple kill. Quadruple kill. Oh my god. Fantastic job from Suguru in that last minute play. Team kill. Oh, well played from Team Blue. Excellent round. My ultimate is almost Suguru ready. must be pissing Score. his pants in excitement. To zero. I sure as hell would be. I'd be peeing all over the place over the excitement. That was... I Just no words. No words. Other than the regret. So hopefully, Blue's able to show the same kind of skill in this round. This map's a little more complicated. The point is far more open. It's very easy to get pinned, and it's very easy To have the other team come up behind you. Allow me to repair the damage. But really impressed with the way red stays together. Every team blue goes up against. There's always something new that they're learning from that team. In another team, it might have been something as simple as how they hold back their ults. This team is really good about going in together and using their synergy to take on their opponents. All great skills that Blue should be taking from their matches. And here they go. So Blue playing it safe for the moment. Red poking. And there goes Sugaru. Very effective ult. Very effective ult from both Xbox One and Sugaru to get one heck of a team kill. Well played, ladies and gents. They've been practicing a lot together, trying to get their ult synchronized. <clears throat> Sugaru is fantastic at getting behind the enemy and picking him off, especially when they have an ult up. Xbox One's pretty good about getting into position and then timing those Ryan ults. And it shows that practice is showing through with this particular match. That should be better. Help me get in there. I am ready. Greetings. Come out and face me. Follow the queen. Rally to me. Come on. Yeah, Xbox One takes one to the face, and their Ryan takes down two. Triple? Is it going to be a quadruple? No, not quite. Very effective attack from Zorith. 
Zorieth from Red. Grand, grand, grand. Cody Battle Bronx are not going to lay down and just take it this time around. And the, you can imagine they've got to be pissed off from their last match. I mean, hitting 99 and not being able to see it through. I mean, it pains any team. This will restore you. <clears throat> The Sugurus decide to switch it up. And it looks like he's the only one who's doing it. And we have a parade of alts. It looks like most of Blue is taken out. That was an excellent team kill from Red. They, did, they had a lot of stopping power behind those alts. So blue it looks like they have one shot left, but unless oh excellent excellent ult from red, making sure that they were stopped right before getting to the point. One to one. Ready for battle. And here we are. So we have a tie game for the first round. Give me a faster beat. Is my Looks like Red has decided to stick with what they know. Round three. Whereas Blue is also doing the same thing. They found a good model and they're going to stick to it. And the formula was working well for them. It wasn't until after Sugudu switch that things started falling apart. He's just so good at those those Genji ults. The objective is now two missed Rhine smashes. <laughs> we have one down from red. Looks like we're about to see one down from blue. It Excellent! Great pin from Juan. Good plays by Blue. Each playing to their strengths and sticking together on the point. The Red's gonna have to group up again. And they are, it looks like they're sticking with their same heroes. Wolf Hype looking like he's going to go up top and try to get a few easy assassinates. Dual alts, and Red is not playing. And, oh, excellent ragdoll. Sorry, Juan. <laughs> oh, and that was a wasted ult by Wolfie. And Red is not stopping there. Red is trying to poke a little bit. They're pushing forward. Scooter seems to be just standing around. He took a few to the face and realized maybe he should move. And here comes Blue again. And here comes Sugudu again, working that alt. Not as effective as he's done before, but... Taking two down. On fire again. The There's objective. another streak. My ultimate this is charging. very much a game of back and forth as they're learning how the other plays. Locked. Go, Sugudu. That was well played, good sir. Yeah. So we have two ults up on red. Which is and a Zarya ult and a Brigida ult. Nasty in their synergy. If you can get them pinned. There we go, one alt. Alting for the push onto the point. <clears throat> the question is whether or not they're going to use their alts now or they're going to hold off. This is going to be good. 
Oh, an amazing ult from Wolfie. Oh, good lord, that was fantastic. Oh, he's... Oh, I imagine he's fairly excited right now for that ult. That makes up for his last ult. And he can't climb up the wall. But that's okay. Fantastic play from Blue. And it looks like they've decided they're going to keep pushing forward. And it looks like it's going to win them the round. Well played from Blue that time. Fantastic ult. Red smart in a bit. Play of the game. And here we go. Let's see this again. Beautiful ult from Wolfie. Timed it just right. And using their own maze wall to hide it. It's the beauty of maze walls. <laughs> Sugudu with seven dragon blades. Oh, fantastic job. Archaic carrying with Zarya. Excellent first round. So we have one win <clears throat> for the Salinas I Nighthawks. So far only the one loss for the Cody Battle Bronx. We have one more round to go. If Cody Battle Bronx can take it, we'll go on to round three. Otherwise, that will be game. And it will be another win for the Nighthawks. So the question is, where are we going to be going for our next map? They should have a pool of two or three maps ready to go. And looks like they've decided they're going to take on the Lingjiang Tower. Moments like this are important for now Blue. They've been suffering a string of defeats. And having those moments where they come together, they're they're learning from their past matches, getting and stomped on, and then realizing where they need to fix their synergy, and then coming together the way they did on that last round is it's great to see, and they need the they need that energy. Ready for battle. <clears throat> and Blue's not changing a thing about their makeup, but it looks like Red's decided that they're going to uh, shift their tanks around. They're going with a Roadhog. Excellent choice for this map. Lots of great spots for hooking opponents, dropping them to the Abyss, or hooking them into the point Five, to take them out while the four, other team is trying three, to two, creep along walls. One. Round one, capture the objective. And it looks like they're going to start with a little poke and then get right to the point. <clears throat> Try me. Feeling better? Already pinned. Miss pin, and looks like Bobby's. Almost there. Bobby takes down Sigma. Takes down Wolf Hype. Swing that hammer. There goes Envision Rush. They almost had him. Excellent heals, though, from Red. Keeping Bobby up. He almost lost it there. And I am so jealous of his golden hammer. One day I, too, will have a golden hammer. And that is a hook, and Juan is down. And that's what we were talking about. Roadhog's an excellent pick for this map because it's so easy to just hook someone unsuspecting and dropping him to the abyss. So it looks like Blue's decided they're coming in through the front door. Another wolf hype bolt. The parade of ults begins. It looks like they weren't as synced up this time around. Lots of ults. Someone was shut down in the process. 
One down, two down, three down. And there we go. Point is blue. They said no, this is their house. They weren't going to allow it. By milk, y'all. So it looks like Zarya's got her golden weapon, too. And ult for the push. Here we go. Suguru getting his ult, but it looks like they're going to target him down. He's switched it up. At some point, he decided that he was ready to do a little bit of Reaper action. The blue's still holding it, but they're slowly getting eaten at. This will heal you. That Brigida is really holding her own. Very much a beast. Looks like it shielded it long enough for the rest of her teammates to get there. Keeping Bobby up, and Red has taken the point. Blue has decided to relinquish it in favor of regrouping. We got four ults and three ults. They just, there goes one ult, and the question is, what are they going to do with it? Scooter wasting his ult on Haley's ult. Ah, oh, sink bug. And there goes one to another hook. That hook is going to be the death of him. Excellent kill from Wolfie on that Roadhog. And it's a single man hold. There we go. Two man hold on the point while Blue reconsiders how they're going to approach this. Red coming in and Red, Red has switched it up also. They're bringing Monkey to the fight. It's time for a little ape action. And here they come. And that was a shutdown. The parade of ults. Oh! Another excellent ult from Wolfie. That tore into them. And Juan missing his rush. Scooter doing his best to just stay on the point, but he just couldn't one couldn't single man it. Monkey hanging out, waiting for the rest of his team to show up. And now we've hit an overtime. Ah, that was that was an excellent pin from Red, but not a whole lot of health to carry it. And Juan's making up for his missed pins. Fantastic. That was a fantastic sleep from Envision. Timed it beautifully. So Blue having an excellent night tonight. Ready for battle. So this could very well be the last game. If Blue can hold out. I just realized Five, I don't remember there ever four, being three, Koi two, in here. One. Is this new? Round two. I feel like it's new. I thought it was just a pit before. So Red's, Red's looking like they're going to take the back entrance. Wolfie's aware of their position. Blue is wa they're waiting for them. They're not even bothered with the point quite yet. It's a brawl in the room. We got a whole lot of angry individuals. We got Juan left behind. And we got Sugudu in the back doing his best to get a few shots in, but it's just not quite up to snuff. They don't have, they don't, Blue doesn't quite have a makeup for those close quarter fights. Red's running three tanks this round. It's a good, probably a good choice from Red. With the amount of DPS we're seeing from Blue, they need something that's got a little more meat on its bones. They gotta have something with some stopping power. 
So it makes sense that they would have their their Reaper, their heals, and sticking with three tanks. And you see this a lot with other teams. That three tank makeup. And they're getting picked off. It was an odd choice by Bobby to jump in there. And that is a shutdown. Red doing a great job shutting down Sugaru's ult. A waste, but he might have, he probably saw an opening somewhere. Red calling it their house. Red's not giving in. They are going to seal the deal. If blue doesn't do something too, they're going to it's going to be a steamroll. Got four alts ready on red. Just about ready to have six. Getting ready for the push. Wolfie's about to get taken out if he's not careful. Nerf this. And here comes the Diva ult. Looks like he took out Stinkbug. Tornado vaults begin. Scooter defending his team and Blue mostly taken down. And there goes Wolfie. Not quite as successful with that ult. Blue is just trying their damnedest to hold the point at this point because they're just going to get knocked. But that Roadhog, having that Roadhog there and then an ult just to push him back. They're very good about keeping people off the point and using those ults effectively to push back rather than pull in. Get into position. That's a devastating loss for blue. Not even a single percent. Score. It's a tough map. One, they weren't ready two, to one. adjust for a three tank approach and it showed. We'll see what happens with round two. Ready for battle. Oh my god, space pods. I love space pods. Oh god. Who... This is a space pod intended for a very small, small person. Look at that. Why does everything gotta be so Five, phallic? Four, Everything's phallic on three, this thing. Look at this thing. Two, one, and here comes three. Blue. Capture the objective. Hello, Juan. Goodbye, Juan. <laughs> So Red really has to win this one. If Red can't win this one, it's over for them for this round. This it's going to be over for this game. Blue will have a much needed win to help them in the standings. But it looks like they're doing the same thing. Three tanks, two heals. Reaper, he's been fairly effective at maybe not getting the kills, but definitely providing support, defending the team. And that was a behind the back shank. So Red's taking it. Blue's really got to make some decisions about how they're going to deal with these tanks. They haven't adjusted their strategies at all to address three tanks. They need something with a little more, a little more firepower. <laughs> And Wolfie unsuccessfully, or Wolfie, unsuccessfully sneaking up on the enemy. Parading the ults around, Juan going in, shielded, boosted, doing his best as a one-man army trying to take him down and it looks like it didn't work out for him but Wolfie's decided that he's tired of getting one shotted but that didn't seem to work out for him either. Scooter eyeing a tank and getting excited about getting to bust a tank. Their ults are up again. Blue Looks like Blue's deciding how they're going to approach. 
switching things up. Juan's decided to pull out his diva to help bolster Wolfie's Arissa. Arissa is his second favorite. And Wolfie, ten he tends to be a, an excellent Arissa. He just needs to get positioned. Sugudu switching it up for Reaper. Stink is staying. There goes the ult. Near team kill. Red was waiting for something from that. Red saw that they were going to try to use that Lucio push to get through. So they're doing well. But as it often ends up being the case with them, they start doing well and then they drop the ball. We haven't figured out why, but we see this a lot with blue. It looks like red is taking it. They've extended this to another game. Victory. So excellent win from red, denying two rounds to blue. Play of the game. Wolf hype again with his alt. Player of the game twice. <laughs> He's so good with his alt. He knows how to line them up. Here we are. Beautiful alt from Wolfie. And Wolfie is on the board. Not a bad place to be alongside Sugaru. So this has been proven to be an excellent round. A lot of back and forth between blue and red. Cody Battle Bronx decided that they had had enough. They brought it back. Whereas the Slain Side Nighthawks giving a little bit of ground there. Weren't quite ready for that three tank makeup. Which it looks like the Bronx have been practicing. Either it was a map that they were ready for. And they had a makeup set for it. Or they just have a certain synergy that they like to practice. Whatever it is, it worked for them. So it looks like we're heading to Oasis for our final game of the evening. Initiating match. The question is going to be whether or not Blue can take it and see this through. Or if they're going to be given ground to red. It's another map where you have a lot of open space. He, it's also an excellent killing ground for Farah's and now with the open space here it'd be a perfect spot for their hog to start pulling off with hooks Ready and it looks battle. like they're going to stick with it it worked with them the past game they're going to go for it this game but it looks like Sugudu's decided to take advantage of all the open space and lay down some firepower with Farah. and visions go on mercy so we had a a sh slight shift it'll be interesting Five, to see how this plays out four, for him are we three, going to see a pharmacy two, one round one capture the objective and they are out of the gate <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, and yep, looks like we're getting a pharmacy with this one. We already have a Moira on red down. Sound like we got a failed hook. We got a rush, and Juan got pinned, and Juan is down. Bobby is not taking any prisoners with this one. Archaic is laying down some fire. Archaic. He's really trying hard to push back that Bobby, but Bobby is relentless. And there's Suguru laying down some ults. Three down. That's got a sting. And they held the point. Very well played from Blue. This is an excellent start.
Looks like Red's Hog getting into position to pull somebody down below. Or is he? No. And looks like Wolfie noticed. Wolfie going down to have a little bit of fun. He's not careful, though. He's going to lose it. Now show them. I haven't seen Wolfie play as Reaper. This is, I think this is a, a recent development for their team synergy. Red comes back, but it looks like they've spread themselves out. With three ults, though. They pinned Archaic. He's out of his... And here comes the ults. Excellent ult from one. Fortunately, fairly useless as no one else was ready to move. Again, it's, it's that issue of knowing when to use those ults, that ult synergy. It's something that the, the blue is still working on. Part of it's communication. Part of it is just knowing when knowing when to let loose. And he didn't have any backup. Archaic going it alone. Just in time for Sugudu to go in and try to lay down some rockets. So Blue is deciding that they're going to take it up here. And the ults begin. Incoming. Heroes never die. Scooter is down. It looks like without, without a whole lot to show for it. Bobby down. They, um, they got their mech. It looks like Red's Diva is almost out. They're trying and there she goes. So Red is rather than taking the team kill, they're simply abandoning the point. But so far this is looking good. Blue really needed to switch it up, especially for this map. And it looks like they've made some good choices. Their team captain's been trying to get some of his players to branch out a little bit so they're a little more versatile depending on the map, and it looks like it's paying off here. Wolf Hype's got his ult ready to go. He is slightly new, so the question is whether or not he's going to know when to use it. And that was a desperate push from Red. And it looks like it did not pay off for them. So Red takes the loss for this round. Moving on to round two. And this is the last round. Red has to win. If Red can't win this, Blue will be taking it. Ready for battle. What do you think, Far? Got time for a game? After the mission, you're on. Why is everything so phallic in this game? Five, everything is phallic. Four, Look three, at that. Two, Tell me that's not phallic. One, it's ridiculous. Two, and Red's out the, the gate. So Red's got a widow. Haven't we didn't see much widow action from the last match. But this is an excellent map for Widow. Lots of little points where she can get a view, but if she doesn't have her accuracy, it's go it's not going to matter. So Zoriath is taking position up top. The objective is now active. It looks like Archaic is not going to let that happen. Zoriath saves herself from falling with a hook. That was a very excellent save. Red's holding their own, but they're very spread out. Sugudu trying to lay down some cover fire. Justice reigns from above. Excellent ult from Sugudu. Took down two. Here comes Juan across the killing field. And Juan just committed suicide. Excellent suicide from Juan. Good job. Good job, Juan. That is some team spirit right there. He's gonna he's going to need to do something amazing to make up for that. I can only imagine what's being said about him if anyone noticed. 
All right, Red's holding their own. They're they're pushing hard. This will restore you. But it looks like they lost. Blue is losing. They're losing their heels. They've got to be real careful. Juan using his ult, but there's nobody to give him backup except for Sugaru, but he can't do much from up there. Archaic is the other side of the killing zone. Trying to hold position so that they can regroup. And it looks, in, looks like they gave up the point. Probably a good call since Sugaru was already down. They needed to group up again. They're not going to take on a whole team with just three people. Red deciding it's time to push a little bit. They're hitting, they're getting to the 70s. And Stink Bug. Stink Bug deciding that she was not happy with what was going on. Taking out that tank. And that is the end of their Roadhog. Excellent play from Blue. Taking that point, getting that much needed percentage. Now the question is, are they going to be able to hold it? Three people on the high ground. One staying on the ground. Sugaru surveying what's happening up above. Stinkbug trying to back up one. Rez decided to come around the side. That was a wasted ult from Blue, unfortunately. You can't do you can't do much with a diva there when you've got a Rhine with a shield. And Juan is cornered, trying his best to stay on the map this time around. And Xbox One is again suicidal, off the edge. And Red has got almost full alts. And by the look of things, I, I'll be very surprised if they can pull this off. Sugaru! Blue coming in, taking out Team Red. Oh, the Cody Battle Bronx went down, and Nighthawks have decided that this is their house. That was some excellent DPS, some well-timed ults. Amazingly, they're not done yet. They're holding this spot. They said no. What Wolf Hype's going to do back there, I, is anybody's guess. I'm presuming he tried to get a sneak on Bobby, trying to take him out. But they've got no ults other than one. Scooter. And there's the beast using Brigida for the push. We have a hammer down. Wasn't nearly enough. And it looks like it's belonging to Red, and that is the end of the round. Unless Stinkbug Stink can hold it. Nope. That was a very close, very, very close match. Sugaru would have needed to have to be a lot lower in order to make it successful. But against the whole team, there wasn't much he could do. So this is it. They played it. They pulled it off. 1-1. Last game of the evening. I am your host, Teacher Ravana. This has been a two, one, match between two, Cody Battle Bronx and the Slingus High Nighthawks. We're down to the last round of the game. Last game of the evening. And it looks like they are switching it up and going back to their classic from the first round. Sugudu pulling out his Genji. He loves his Genji. Archaic going Zarya. And Red is going back to their two tank setup. 
And Blue takes down their McCree. This will restore you. And it's an all-out brawl on the point. It looks like it could be anyone's at this point. No. Wolfie's down. Juan is down. A good hook and a follow-up. Bobby moving in, trying to pin someone. Suguru. Oh, Suguru. Trying to pull off a latch, a last ditch ult to try to save the day and getting shut down. Probably should have rethought that particular ult. And Zoryath going in behind, seeing if he can get them off guard. Red is playing incredibly aggressively now. They know this is their last their last shot at this win, and if they don't play aggressively, they're going to lose it. Blue has got to step it up if they plan on taking the point. Because Red is just not giving in. Bronx are fierce. They are bucking it. They are not going to let Blue even get into the building. There they go. Pushed a little too hard. Blue trying to push back. Bobby's down. Without that tank, they don't have the protection they need. That looks like it was a wasted ult. And here we go. The time for the ult parade begins. Sugudu doing his hat trick. Three down from his ult. Well played with Envision. Boosting him, and the point is blue. So now they've just got to keep it. Ex excellent catch from Archaic. It's nice seeing a diva who knows how to catch abilities. Enemy in my sight. They need to take down that. To make any of their ults worthwhile, they have to take down Red's Ryan. Red's Ryan has been excellent at making sure that those ults are wasted if he's nearby with his shield. Juan's really going to have to be careful with his hammer. Well played. That was an excellent hammer down that spooked Zoryth into using his ult, but unfortunately it was mostly wasted. And Red is pushing. They're pushing hard. And it looks like we're going to get Oh Sugudu doing his best, only able to get their healer down. There goes Bobby. Bobby's down, they should be able to handle the rest from here. Without that without Bobby, Red falls apart. That shield is is fantastic. And that was another ult shutdown. Blue trying their best to hold the point. Hammer down from Bobby. Juan doing his best to try to swing his sword sword. Excellent, excellent play from Juan until that point. And it is theirs. Now if Blue knows what they what if they know what's good for them, they need to go and rush red spawn point. If they don't rush red spawn point, they're going to lose it. They went to the total opposite side. They didn't know where they were supposed to be. They Oh they lost track of the spawn point. And that was a wasted spawn point. Oh wasted alt, but it looks like it may not matter. They've got one healer down, hammer, and it looks like Red successfully took back the point. Oh, they're going to... I imagine the talk right now is of remembering where your spawn point is. It was a good push from Red. That could very well be the game if blue can't recover if blue doesn't recover that will be it red did a great job getting him off the point and taking it back wolfie trying to play assassin 
Sugudu taking down both healers. And without those healers, Red may lose it. This may be it. Fantastic job from Blue coordinating those ults. And now Red just needs to hold the point. But it looks like it's not happening. And this could very well be the end. Oh! -ho. Trying to hold it. They've gotten desperate. They're just filing in, hoping that somebody can get the point back from them. And that is game. Well played from Nighthawks. Cody Battle Bronx put on a great show. Did a fantastic job with their comeback. They pushed hard. They fought hard. They played well. One of the better teams Nighthawks have gone up against in terms of their sportsmanship. And that's the hardest thing. You, it's really hard to see good sportsmanship in gaming. Esports is plagued with toxicity. So many thanks to Battle Bronx for showing that sportsmanship that's completely lacking. Playing along, playing hard. Excellent match. And Bobby is wishing him luck in future games. Oh, bless his heart. Excellent game tonight. Can only imagine the excitement from Blue for their win. Much needed win. And that is it for us. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thank you for putting up with me and my cringiness. And until next week's game, Selena's High Nighthawks, out.